Patrick Walsh, he's Sarah High School's winningest football coach. And now his oldest son, William, is making a name for himself in golf. I want a Padre break, and we're going to get the uh, kickoff return team right here. Let's go. Patterson, let's go, let's go. Patrick has turned Sarah High School into one of the best football programs in the Bay Area over the last two decades. But he never got the chance to coach his oldest son, Willie. You would think I would be holding on and want him to be a Sarah Padre yeah. football player and then star of that. Now that would feel very good. Instead, Willie is the star of the Padres golf program. The back-to-back -back WCAL Player of the Year will play for Pepperdine in the fall. Sometimes like in a tournament or back on the range, I'll film him. And it's created a different role for Patrick than he's used to. I run the program, I'm the head coach, yeah. and in this case, I'm the caddy. And so it's, uh, I'm following him, I'm following his career. Willie played football and baseball growing up, just like his dad in San Jose State in the 1990s. Ball would come in and he just ripped the ball, just bam, bam, bam. So in my mind, I was creating a, new, a, uh, a baseball player. And then around uh, nine years old, uh, I took him out to play golf and he just really, really enjoyed the experience. And he's like, Dad, can we do that again? And I was like, okay. I just remember hitting balls at the range and just falling in love with it, like immediately at age 10. Um, and by 11 or 12, I knew this is what I wanted to do. Right before the 12 year old year, the Williamsport year, the, the all-star team, all that stuff. He's like, dad, I, why do I want to go to the batting cages when I could go to the driving range? And that was it. And he goes, I don't want to make you sad, but I really just want to, I want to play golf instead of baseball. So coach Walsh had to put together a new game plan for a sport he says he and his wife knew nothing about. We put him in a nine hole tournament and he came in dead last. And it was out, it was out in the East Bay and, um, or way, way East, like Modesto or Turlock yeah, or something. Modesto. And he shot a 65 after nine holes, came in dead last. And it was like the, the litmus test on, okay, well, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do to get you better? Do you wanna go? He goes, I wanna go, I wanna get better. Well, he definitely got better thanks to hours of practice. I like to think that I'm a very good putter. When I'm winning tournaments, this thing is rolling. This is my baby. I would marry it if it was a girl. <laughs> and last month, he took a break from his own game to see how the pros do it at golf's most iconic course, Augusta National. Everyone says the Masters is an unbelievable experience. And you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, all right. And then you actually go and you're just, you're just taken aback at how unbelievable it is. And I'll never forget it, never ever forget it. After the 18th hole when John Rahm kind of did his big thing, we were walking out and right as we got to the gate kind of to go off the course, uh, me and my dad and a few, we just kind of looked back at the course and just were like, just uh, we want to be back here so bad. Um, hopefully as a player, um, that'd be really, really cool. Patrick is used to winning on the football field and now on the golf course even if his scorecards don't reflect it. When he was 10 or 11 years old, uh, hey, are you gonna beat your dad today? Like joke all the caddies or right. the people joking. I'm like, man, he's, I've never beat him. Right. So uh, it's been nice. It's been a nice break and it's, it's helped us bond. You know, golf has been amazing for us because it's really, really helped us bond. I always joke with him. He's an angry teenager. Doesn't give a lot of words to his mom. Doesn't get a lot of words to his parents. But for those four or five hours on the golf course, it's just, father son and it's it's been a magical ride as a father of three i can really appreciate that